So acute flaccid paralysis or acute flaccid myelitis is chiefly a, a nerve problem in the spinal cord. And what can happen with this is that children start having problems moving a limb, an arm, a leg, multiple arms or legs. Um, some children also have difficulty controlling the muscles of their face or having difficulty swallowing. It tends to vary between different children. These are very rare uh, conditions. And so I think the vast majority of Canadian parents don't have much to worry about because this is not going to happen to their children. The last time we had a mini outbreak of acute flaccid paralysis was in 2014. And at that time, we had 25 children across Canada, across the entire country, that developed symptoms. Now I think 25 is too many, um, and we of course uh, get concerned when anybody has something like this. But it's important to have a sense of really how few the numbers are, are going to be. Um, it's also worth emphasizing that this is not a new phenomenon. Uh, the numbers of cases wax and wane, and some years are worse, like 2014 and, and this year. Um, but this is something that our neurologists and our infectious disease specialists are used to seeing. Um, and so certainly uh, we are uh, experienced with, with giving the, the kinds of supportive care that these children need. The best thing that parents can do at this point is really focus on uh, doing what they always do, getting their children to wash their hands and making sure their children are up to date on all the vaccinations that they should be getting.